I hold FPC Sunday School. This is Gina. My husband David is running the camera and he helped me set up this board that shows different constellations that we have in our sky here. Now I want to know how many of you have looked at the dark sky? Have you been outside and seen the stars in the sky? And can you name any constellations? Like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, maybe you could see maybe you've seen orion's belt it's three stars right in a row that's a winter kind of constellation that you can see what we're going to do is make our own constellation light so these are the supplies that you're going to need you're going to need a piece of black construction paper some scotch tape or whatever tape you're going to need a um paper clip pen uh, scissors <laughs> and a pencil and you take them and a flashlight you need a flashlight so you put the flashlight down on a piece of paper and you draw a circle around you outline that with the circle and then you have also been on a website I hope to see where you can get a constellation guide and we picked out the constellation Ursa Minor so this is our little constellation that we have here. And you take this piece of paper and we're gonna cut, cut it out so that it'll fit on top of the flashlight. So we're just cutting. And, and then as it fits, and you take your, you take this and you put this right like you put it behind it and you can tape it down so that it will be it won't move too much because what you're going to do is come on the side and where your constellation is you're going to poke holes in the in the stars so that when you put this on the flashlight you will be able to it'll poke through and you'll see the light shining through ah, there you go so now I have one pre-cut, so I'm gonna put it on my flashlight here and tape it down so it doesn't fly around too much. And then I'm going to shine this up to this to the ceiling, and then I'm gonna we're gonna turn the lights off, and you're gonna see the constellation. Now look at that. Isn't that awesome? It got a little fuzzy, but it's okay. You get the idea of how this works. Very cool. So those are fun things that you can do. That is a fun thing. If you have trouble getting um, a hold of, the, of a constellation, let me know. And I, you know, let the church office know and I can get you a constellation printout that you could use. But I think that's a very cool thing to do. To do. So this is our night sky that we've talked about. And the night that Jesus was born, those stars were shining really, really bright. And we have an opportunity coming up later this month to see a couple of really bright planets together, not necessarily stars. This is coming up on, it's called the Great Conjunction of 2020. And it's when the planet, the planet um, Jupiter and the planet Saturn are gonna be getting very close together. So close together that they're like a 10th of a degree apart from each other. And they will be very, very bright in the Western sky and you'll be able to see them just after sunset. So, and there are going to be, um, the website astronomy.com, like the people that make this little special issue magazine here, they're going to be, hosting a streaming event from the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. So if it's too cloudy here to see these together on the 21st, you can see them through the streaming um, on your computer. So I want to thank you for being here today and enjoying this. And remember when you say your prayer, you could always do it in the dark with your, with your constellation light. You thank God for the stars. In Jesus' name. Amen.